Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Profile for the All Stars today. We'll be talking about Dennis Gurionov. Now I know I haven't made these for quite a while. Um, the last one was Rube Hines and that one did pretty well. So uh, we'll see what happens here. But I am, have high hopes for Dennis Gurionov. He looks to be fantastic. Um, he has very much, he has lots of offensive upside, and I think he'll do well. He'll probably he might get the chance this year, depending on it, what what injuries happen. But I think that next year he will be a staple in this team. Now at age 20, he's playing in the on the Texas Stars AHL team. Um, he was 12th overall in the 2015 draft. Um, he could be a potential steal right there. Um, he looks to have again fantastic offensive awareness. Um, he looks to use his body very well for offense, and that's something that I think he can use to his advantage very well. He has great size, and he uses that very well for offense. He loves to shield defensemen, like kind of like Crosby style on that one hand um, flip on that one goal that was like a highlight reel. He uses stuff like that to get goals, and I think that could work very well for him. Now, his defense isn't anything special, but it is good. He has good off good awareness on that side. And he has decent um, skills for that. You know, he isn't terrible on the defensive end, but he, he's not he's not great. So he has room to work, and he already is decent at it, but he can be a lot better, and I think he, he knows that, and he has room to grow. Let's get into the best part of this, the comparisons. Um, I have a couple of players down here, and I'll show you guys right now. First up, I got Wayne Simmons. I think that he... He, I don't think Dennis Gurionov will be a uh, fighting guy or f as physical as Wayne Skim Simmons, but the way that Wayne Simmons scores, scores goals, I think he'll be pretty similar to that. He, again, Wayne Simmons uses his body quite a lot. Um, he's a pretty big guy, and Wayne Simmons gets in the dirty areas um, like Gur Dennis Gurionov. If he Dennis Gurionov gets in the in the middle of the net if he has to, he get, gets in the front of the lanes if he has to. He can deflect pucks pretty well. And he's done that before, but he can do he can go in the dirty areas like Wayne Simmons, and I think both are going to be really good at it. Um, Wayne Simmons is already really good at it, and I think Dennis Gurionov could be elite in that position. Now, probably the best similarity, the best comparison I have is James Neal. I think that even though James Neal has gotten to a hot start here, um, I think he will even out. But I think that the best comparison, one of the best comparisons, is James Neal. He uses his body quite a lot. Um, he gets in the dirty areas quite a lot. Um, he isn't too physical, and that's Dennis Gurionov in a nutshell. And, and Neil, he is one of the best comparisons in the way that he scores goals, the way that he is decent in this defensive end, um, and that Dennis Gurionov has very much a similar, similar to him. And honestly, if he turns out to be a player as of the caliber of James Neal, I would not be mad at all. Um, he That's a very solid player you got there, like one of the one of the greater second-line forwards you got you can get. And that would just be great for us. Now, you would think he would be better. He could be. He could become a lot better. He could become one of the better um, goal scorers in the game. Now, will he do that? I don't think so. But he definitely will become a very solid player. Now, once again, I think his ceiling will be a top line winger um, for the league. I think that he could be one of the best in the game. That's his ceiling now. For the four, I think he'll be a skilled, skilled third liner. I don't think he will become anything worse than that. I mean, he could still bust and not make the NHL, really. But I think that he will become... Uh, he. I don't think he will become a third, skilled third liner, but I think that if any, everything... Not everything goes wrong, but if some th things go wrong, he doesn't play good on the first line, he'll end up becoming a good third liner for most teams. And that that's a that's a decent player. You wish you would have gotten that in the third round and the second round and not 12 overall, but still, that's a decent player there. I love his plan. I think he'll that he'll do really well on this Dallas Stars team. He's very he'll fit well on this team, and I think he the style that he plays is definitely um, close to what a lot of guys on the team do. Um, he do, he doesn't he isn't a liability on defense, and that's something that is nice as well. He's decent on the defensive end, and that's something that goes well with a lot of the team. That's a lot similar to a lot of players on this team, and I think that he'll gel well. But that is going to be it for today, guys. Guys, enjoy. Make sure you like. Guys, if you really enjoy, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.